What's up, peeps? So I'm uh, out here on this rainy day. It is Father's Day. And yeah, so I'm gonna harvest this. I've done a lot today. <laughs> I've planted some squash real quick and between the rain showers and um, I'm gonna harvest this uh, red mustard greens right here. So I started and then I was like, wait a minute, let me go get my video uh, camera. So look at these leaves, y'all. Look at those leaves. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this one. I mean, huge. Huge, huge, huge. Put in my, look at that. Ridiculously big. So I'm just gonna take, they're already starting to bolt here or go to seed. And if you don't want that to happen, just pinch the flowers off and eat it, okay? I'm gonna put them in there too. Um, but I'm gonna get the bigger leaves I think I'm just gonna get the bigger leaves um, and I'm just grabbing down and tearing it off you can use scissors if you want that's cool <laughs> or not um, but these are some beautiful greens it's my first year growing these and they are just gorgeous so let me get these before the rain comes. I think it's here it comes again. That's all right. Just a little sprinkle. And again, one going to seed. I'm just gonna get these little flowerettes here. Pinch them off. Okay, but gorgeous greens. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, there's my little tiny Tim tomato that I took took off there and. Uh, of my plant that I had inside to see if I could grow it outside and it looks like it's doing okay I don't know if it's gonna get any bigger so I'm just gonna go ahead and basically harvest um, as many leaves as I can before it starts pouring down and I want the bigger ones personally you know what I'm just gonna because I might need to pull these out anyway um, since they're they're kind of bolting and um, yeah, I think I'm just going to harvest what I can before it gets really hard. It's raining out here. Um, and, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to look, those are going to seed too. I'm just going to do this right here real quick. I don't want them going to seed yet. Um, I think I want to use that pot for something else um, <clears throat> very, very soon. And uh, yeah, let me get these two. And I'm gonna leave these. These are the inner, inner leaves, but they're also the most tender and the most new. So you can harvest, and this is cut and come again. This is what they call cut and come again, okay? You can harvest the outer leaves, the bigger leaves, and then, you know, in a few days, you'll have new growth, okay? And so I'll keep them in here for a few days so y'all can just see what I'm talking about if you've never seen the concept of cut and come again, okay? But basically, I'm harvesting, harvesting, and then I'll come back and we'll have an explosion of new growth on these plants, okay? So there, there it is, harvested as much of it as I can. Now I have other red mustard greens around the neighborhood somewhere. Here's some that's about to go to seed. So I'm going to go ahead and get these off to clean, very clean. No pest pressure here. There's a little bit of ants, so when you see ants, you're, you're thinking aphids, okay? If you haven't learned that already, but I don't see any aphids. I think they just like setting up their space. Look at how clean and pretty that is. That's just sun scald or sunburn. Um, other than that, these look great. And there's one more place, y'all. The rain is coming. One more place. I just have, I think. No, no, I moved it. I moved it. Okay. So I think that's all. I had one right there. And over here on the table. So that's it. That's my harvest of red mustard greens. Beautiful, beautiful greens. Um, my first year growing them. I'm very, very pleased. Um, and these and these mustard greens are just like not the typical like country greens. People uh, love to eat um, uh, like the curl, the curly mustards. I have some of those too. They just have not germinated yet. 
um and it may be too late to sew them but i went ahead and sewed them but those red these red mustard greens are so beautiful and just like with any mustard green it's a very potent potent um taste oh here are the other ones and they've all went to seed so i'm gonna leave them alone because they've already look when this one's already formed pods okay so there's my seeds right there these are starting to form pods okay so i'm just gonna let it be what it is yeah um let's see yeah yep let it be what it is and take these in the house they're already freshly clean by the rain but i'm gonna clean them up just a little bit let them soak a little bit there's not a whole lot of dirt on here and um, critters so I'm grateful for that and then you can just boil these like you do any other greens boil them put some peppers or onions or whatever you want in there or or you can saute them okay so that's what I'm gonna do thank y'all so much for watching red mustard greens hello